Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kako coming at you with another video. So today, I wanted to take the time to show you an amazing sort of fishing route that I do, as well as um, just something to sort of make a decent amount of gold with. Um, it does actually use a few things that I want to make you guys aware of before we start getting into it and what we're going to be using. But biggest thing is definitely, one, have a riding crop into epic flying um if you're using regular flying this will be so so much slower um for you guys to sort of do this um if you're on a pvp server i'd recommend pvp gear if you do not have pvp gear i'd recommend as much stam and int as you possibly can um if i'm a mage so that's why int but as much stam and whatever your primary stat is that way if you do get attacked you can uh, sort of defend yourself and so on and so forth now for this you're going to also need uh, something to increase your fishing uh, i've been doing a ton of fishing daily so i have a ton of these sharpened hooks bright bubbles do work if you are at max um fishing and then i use this rod um there's one here that also gives 25 if you're not hoard um it's somewhere in um outlands i forget the exact quest line and where you go to do that but just something to be aware of the biggest things are the epic flying that and make sure you have gotten the find fish um book i believe you can just buy it off the ah um but if you do not have it um you can fish it up from just fishing random pools i got it while fishing pools here and leveling up um so yeah but that's pretty much it another thing that makes this a lot better is having cooking um, the reason to have cooking and a lot of the recipes is so then you can process a lot of these foods because they do make um, a lot of um, good recipes that are um, used and then they actually do sell more than um, the raw fish does. So when we look here, um, poached bluefish, you know, it has a six silver profit um that's just from fish ant we'll see a lot of those pools now anyway let's get into the path and sort of what we're going to be doing we're here in a grand and you're literally just going to go from the top at throne of elements of, along this lake down through here um up to here and then turn back around go around this way up this side and just fishing every single pool so that is the route that we're going to take and fine fish is super important as well as epic flying that way you can sort of see these pools right right here we have pure water and blue fish um pure water drop the um waters so you absolutely or they drop primal water so you absolutely want to focus those first all the other pools are sort of option optional for you um and anyway yeah so we're going to get started with this farm um being able to fish the um, all the uh, fishes as well as being able to fish um, these pools as soon as you possibly can will help you a ton. As you saw, one mode of water, two gold, 29 silver right now. So that's pretty nice. Um, and yeah, so we're just going to go around this loop, sort of see what we're going to get. Um, as you can see right there, we got that offhand. That's not very worth anything. Um, definitely make sure you fish all the pools up. That is where you're going to make the majority of your gold um, is getting these. And the reason you want to fish every single pool as well is the fact that they can spawn... Um, any of these can spawn pure water, which is really, really nice. Throne of Elements definitely has two, so I would strongly recommend starting there. The only reason we started down here was because we encountered them as we were uh, sort of heading up there. And then as you saw right there, we got two moats of water just from that pool. Any pool can drop that. And that's really what it's about, getting those moats, turning them into primals, and so on and so forth. So anyway, we're going to do this loop. We're going to fish up all these pools. And, you know, each pool has a two to four chance. Um, and Throne is a guaranteed two pool spawn. So I would definitely be very, very um, weary of that. And... Um, you know, if there's competition, you guys could both go for it, and then it'll instantly be gone because you both hit the pool. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty uh, straightforward on that, guys. It's just fishing. So that's the route. That's the recommended steps. And then we will uh, sort of see how far we're able to go here at the end. And uh, we'll do a recount of everything. 
um, when we're there. If I run into anything else, I will definitely let you guys know and sort of show you what um, I missed over on this initial intro. But anyway, we're going to do this for an hour, and we'll come back with the total results. So I will see you guys after that. Voop! So, something I forgot to mention, guys, is also while fishing up pools, aside from the moats, is you can get these inscribed scroll cases, which can be worth a ton of gold if you're lucky enough to hit a um, strength or agility scroll. So, you can see agility is for 545 right now on my server. Um, these almost sell instantly every time. And, you know, we got three right there, so now we're going to open this one. And we got strength scrolls, too. So that's just really, really good. Um, here we have another pure water pool, which is really awesome. Um, but yeah, we're just fishing really, really nice right now, getting a lot of luck. And we're getting these scrolls, which can also be huge, huge profits. So just something to keep in mind as you uh, go through all this. And I want to make sure to point that out because that is something I missed. But anyway, that's all that we're going to be fishing up. And I will see you guys at the end. Whoop. Alrighty, guys. So, after an hour here, um, the total came to 256 gold. However, I want to uh, do a few things. One, we got a lot of curious crates, which I did not sort of cover. Um, also, the spawn pools seem to be about 25 to 35 minutes. So, as you see, we're just hitting that mark. So, multiples are spawning from when we first started. So, you know, if you do this for like an hour and 10, hour and 15 minutes, you're going to get a whole nother loop of being able to do things. Um, but anyway, this is where for Horde, you can get the um, Bluefish as well as the Mudfish, which are the two foods that you're sort of going after right here. Um, I would definitely make sure you have these recipes if you have the cooking skill to get it. Uh, cooking is super easy to level up, actually, so don't worry too much. Um, but what I wanted to sort of show you guys is we look right here. We see these mud fishes. A uh, stack of mud fish is selling for 5 gold. Um, and a stack of bluefin is 14 gold. Now we're going to cook these up here. And we're going to increase how much money we're going to make by a lot. Um... Obviously, it doesn't calculate this because it's not looted, um, but the price differentials here can be much bigger, and you can make a heck of a lot more um, for doing this um, because people obviously want to buy that food opposed to non-cooked food, and it's just something to keep in mind. Um, a lot of people do actually level cooking, um, especially here in TBC, because you can really easily do the fishing and cooking dailies to get your stuff. But anyway... Um, what I wanted to sort of also bring to your attention is these curious crates. So now we're going to open these, and they can contain random materials. So we got fell iron ore. We got three fell iron ore right there. We got nether weave cloth, three fell iron ore, koto hide scraps, three nether weave cloth, nether weave um, fell iron, and koto hide. So that brings the total to 261 gold. We're going to continue cooking uh, these fishes. Um... I don't really see the point of having you guys watch me cook these, so we're going to cut real quick, and we'll come back after we're done. Whoop. Alrighty, guys, so we finished cooking up these food. Um, we can hover over here, and now you can see we made a total of about 3 to 4 gold there. It's 17 gold a stack. Uh, these are obviously just using the current values. Uh, the grilled mudfish says it's about the same, but I doubt that as well as we could also just buy it all out and sort of up the uh, market price on those a little bit will usually make some profit with those uh, tactics. Um, and then another thing is we also fished up uh, seven primal waters and then three um, additional moats. Now, something to keep in mind is that primals can sometimes actually sell cheaper than um, the moats. Um, that just is because you can't split a primal. And whereas you can split the moats, so as we see here, it's showing moats at 23 gold for one, and the primal is 21. So, like, because I have three here, I might buy seven, and that's cheaper than a primal. And you can't really split primal waters, um, whereas primal earth and fire, you can definitely split as a miner. So, it's actually more worth to sell the moats instead of the primals. Um, I generally do a little bit of both in order to make sure that I sell them all. And then we finally come to these scrolls. Um, we were able to get three scrolls of agility, five scrolls of strength, three scrolls of protection, three spirit, five int, and five stamina scrolls. Um, so that, on top of all of these, it all adds up, guys. So that's what's super beautiful about this farm. It, 
any time I've done this since we're tested, it's been 250 to 300 gold. Um, so I just wanted, to, I always do a test loop and then I do the video just to make sure we know we have an additional sample. So it's not just some one time freak incident. Um, obviously there's a lot of RNG when it comes to fishing, you could get moats, you could get scrolls. Um, so there is some variance. So that's where that 250 to 300 gold range comes in. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I would love to hear some of your best, uh, sort of fishing stories and how well you've done. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.